Hi guys and ladies, I have a special guest coming over tomorrow for dinner and she is crazy about fish, but that suits me just fine. You see, my favorite pastimes are fishing and cooking. Oh yeah, and making goofy videos. So let's try for some bluegill. They taste great and tomorrow we can try cooking them up the Greek way. <music> So looky here, my friend, Big Mike 315, sent me this tiny, gorgeous white marabou chenille jig and several others. This is only 1 32nd of an ounce. I can't cast it very far, but I don't think I'll need to. Mike was unbelievably kind to send me these. I, I can't thank him enough. Now let's go get our dinner. raining. <laughs> good one. It's a good one. Small. He's okay, little on the small side, but not bad. Yep. That's okay. Not bad. I'm gonna try a cast like my friend Winky Doodle Don. He uses like a bow and arrow method. Hmm. Small. I'll keep it. Looking for food. We need food. Not bad. <sighs> nice. Okay, I got six good sized bluegill. That'll be about a pound of fillets. I'm going to get in now because it's starting to rain pretty hard. <music> Ooh, it's raining. I'm going to fillet these now. There's all sorts of how-to videos on doing that. I won't bore you. I am determined to do something Greek with them for dinner tomorrow. Here it is, all ready tomorrow. Here's our fish too, it's all nicely filleted. It comes to almost a pound. We're going to try to Greekify it. I have a recipe that I'm using, but only as a rough guide. Let's get going. Here I'm starting off with a tablespoon of paprika. I've got one half of it smoked, the other half is sweet. Now let's put in a teaspoon of salt. Here goes a teaspoon of garlic powder. Here's a teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of black pepper, about a half teaspoon of dry oregano. Here's a half teaspoon of dried thyme, about a quarter teaspoon of cumin, about an eighth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I'm putting in a quarter. So let's put that spice blend in a shaker. 
I'm really not sure what I'm doing, but it's time to make a tzatziki sauce. If you can spell that, you'll go to the head of the class. I wash this. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never seeded a cucumber in my life. I almost called it a grapefruit. I don't know what I'm doing. It works. <laughs> it works. I'm supposed to grate a grape a grapefruit. See, I said it again. I'm supposed to grate a cucumber, but nothing's happening. Maybe I'll try it on this side. Gosh, I wish I knew what I were doing. If you're wondering how any of this is going to come together with the fish, so am I. Well, I'm not sure, but I'm going to strain this in this sieve or strain or whatever it's called. I'm not sure about this, but here it goes. Now I'm just putting in a half teaspoon of crushed garlic. Ah, you might ask what I'm doing. I wish I knew. I'm chopping mint. I'm putting in three quarters teaspoon of salt. How about if we add a little lemon juice, about a half of this lemon. I almost forgot the pepper. I don't know how much. Maybe a half teaspoon. You know, it looks kind of like a tzatziki sauce. What I'm doing here is making bluegill gyros in case that isn't clear yet. You see, I have these flax oatmeal whole wheat low carb pita breads, which ought to work. I don't know. And the special guest tonight, well, it's that famous restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks herself. If only I could entice her to stay after dinner, I might have a chance to win her heart. <music> All I'm doing now is melting three quarters stick of butter in this big skillet on medium heat. In here I've got another stick of butter melted. I'm just going to lay the fillets in. Not seasoned yet. Now I'm going to butter the top surface. Now it's our seasoning. My rule for these little fish are two and a half minutes on side one and one and a half minutes to cook on side two. Now just a little more seasoning goes on side two. I don't know, I'm making it up. Now I'm just gonna take them out and put them in a plate. Oh, they smell so good. Oh. Well, here we are again with that famous celebrity food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks herself. Um, Miss Cheeks, you had a chance to sample my bluegill gyros. What did you think? Oh, they were delicious. I loved all the different flavors, like the cucumber and the mint. Oh, yeah. Lovely. My, my tzatziki sauce. Yes. Yeah, it's hard to spell. but I can imagine. Mm, very yes. good, though. You know, Miss Cheeks, oh, uh, I, I forgot. It, it's permissible to, for me to call you Lulu now, I would think. Would you like to stay after dinner for a while? Sure. I mean, well, <clears throat> a long while. Uh, you know, there's a, an old expression about bluegill gyros. No, what's that? Uh, bluegill gyros always taste best the morning after. Oh, you devil. Oh.